Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hello. This is Malia. Welcome to Minish for Thursday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Bienvenidos. para estar contigo. Hugo, Jesse, Daniel, hi, Ludwig, hello, Vasquez, hi, Almonto, Madis, Paola, Maria, Alex, Robles, hello, Herbeth, hi, Maria, Victoria, hello, Heidi, yeah, hello, Mary Lady, oh, Jessica, hey, from Argentina, hi, Mon, hi, Maite, Maria Teresa from El Salvador, welcome. Eddie, Marlon, hello. Hello, Carla. Sebastian, hi. Kelly, welcome. Bert, hello, Margarito. Hello, Joanna. Liliana, welcome. Francisco with the blue ribbon. Hello, Francisco. Hi, Kierita. Jimmy from Colombia, welcome to class. Hello, Vanessa. Nice to see you. Maria, hello. Manu, very good to see you. Noelia from Chile, welcome. Juan Jose, hi from Pogota. Hola, en estos tiempos de quedarse en casa, es momento de que todos pongamos nuestro granito de arena. Por eso, en Open English, estaremos transmitiendo clases gratuitas de lunes a viernes en nuestro Facebook Live para que todos nos mantengamos productivos sin salir de casa. Recuerda, la clase de hoy es una oportunidad especial de práctica en vivo para tantos estudiantes sea posible durante estos tiempos. En las clases regulares en vivo en nuestra plataforma, generalmente hay un grupo pequeño de estudiantes en cada clase. Los estudiantes uh, Usen micrófonos para hablar durante la clase y las clases son 20, 40 minutos. No, 45. 45 minutos. Aprovecha nuestras muestras gratuitas. Quédate en casa en nuestras redes sociales para practicar inglés con un gran grupo de estudiantes de todo el mundo. Envía tus comentarios para participar. Quédate en casa y disfruta 10 minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Malia de Portland, Estados Unidos. Y soy profesora de inglés con 7 años de experiencia enseñando en Open English. Hoy Vamos a aprender sobre la pronunciación de los sonidos finales en palabras en inglés. ¿Listo todos? ¿Estamos listos? Ya, yeah, estamos listos. Ok. Cooking verbs. Cooking verbs. Envía tus comentarios, por favor. ¿Qué tenemos? Uno a seis. Las opciones. She cuts vegetables. She cuts vegetables. Pours milk. She stirs ingredients. She bakes cupcakes. She eats fruit. She boils water. Envía sus comentarios, por favor. Vamos a ver las respuestas pronto. Welcome. Hello, and Marcela. Hi, Milagros. Anaí from Peru and Juan David from Colombia. Hello, Jose. 
living in Mexico and America from Venezuela. Natalie, you're in Texas. Okay, envia tus comentarios, por favor. Match the word or phrase to the picture. What are the answers? Bienvenido. Diez minutos de Open English in tu casa. Con Teacher Malia. Are we ready for the answers? Oh, Christian, great work. A is six. She cuts vegetables. Very good. A is six. She cuts vegetables. Paula, thank you. Thank you, Paola. Number number five. She stirs ingredients. Number five. She stirs ingredients. Dania, you have all the answers. And Samantha, awesome. Hey, Jorge Trevino. All right. Number one, she boils water. Number two, she eats fruit. Thank you, Samantha. Hasari, yes, very good. She bakes cupcakes. Number three, she bakes cupcakes. Valentino, you have all the answers. Very good. Number four, he pours milk. Let's focus on the sound. Boils, eats, bakes, pours, stirs, cuts. The sounds are different. Bienvenido a sus 10 minutos gratis de Open English para hoy a la una en la tarde. El estándar de este tiempo, estándar de este. Welcome. In the present tense, verbs for he, she, and it end with s. We know this. Ya sabemos. Cuts, eats. You know, sometimes the sound is an s. Sometimes the sound is a z. Let me explain. With the s. It is voiceless. The vocal cords do not vibrate. Your tongue is behind your teeth in the center. You push air through. The sound s hiss like a snake. S For example, fruits. Okay. Envia tus comentarios. What other English words have S or Z sounds? Now, let's learn about the Z. It is voiced. The vocal cords vibrate. The tongue is behind the teeth in the center. You push air through and vibrate the vocal cords. The sound is Buzz, zzz, zzz, buzz, like an insect. For example, vegetables. <laughs> okay, let's practice. I hope you are practicing at home. Welcome. Bienvenido a 10 minutos de inglés gratis. Estamos pronunciando los sonidos finales de S con verbos. Verbo con S por el final. Okay, I need your help. Envia tus comentarios. The words are cups, knives, dishcloths, breads. Do they belong with S or with Z? Did you know the final sound for English words ending in the letter S? Depends on the final consonant sound. This applies to plural words and verbs. Okay, guys, envia tus comentarios, por favor. 
Nice words. Yes, sports, girls, drinks. Very good. Very good. Hippies. Ha ha ha. The people from the 70s. The great answer, Ingris. What works? Ingris, another good word. Works. Thank you. Lena, kids. Okay. ¿Y dónde pertenece cups, knives, dishcloths, breads? ¿Qué piensas? With S, we use words that end in K, words that end in T, words that end in TH and P. So, bakes has a K. Eats, cuts, fruits has a T. All of these S sounds are like the snakes. S what else belongs? Oh, great. Car Carla and Carol. Great. Bianca, thank you. Sirene, thank you. Yes, cups belongs in the S. Here it is, cups. As well, dishcloths. Very good. Okay, what belongs in the Z? Catalina, excellent. Cups has the S sound. Joss, very good. Let's pronounce these one more time. S is S. S. Z is Z. Z. Oh, Yusili, very good. Yusili, thank you. We have breads with the Z sound, breads and knives. Knives. Excellent. Okay, on our next page, cooking television shows are popular in the United States. Think of a television show in your country about food. Discuss the show. Try to use words that end in an S. For example, I watch the one, two, three cooking TV show. The star cuts vegetables. So, envía tus comentarios. Do you watch cooking shows? What do cooks do on the shows? Excellent. Ishmael, dogs. That has an S. And Roxana, knives. Knives and breads. Carlos with the Z sound. Excellent. Very good. Knives belongs to Z. Great. Paola, breads has a Z. What are your favorite cooking shows? Okay. I love cooking shows like, I enjoy cooking shows like Cake Boss or Chopped, maybe Top Chef. Ooh, okay. I like, oh, let's try writing here. Here it is. I like Cake Boss, Top Chef, and what about Chopped and Master Chef? Do you enjoy these shows? Practice at home, talking using the S and Z. Yadi, Yadi, you love Chopped and Melissa likes Master Chef. Great. Gismelvic. Perfect. She cooks vegetables. Great use. Nice. Catalina. Very nice. Making dessert. Thanks. David. Great sentence. And Ricardo. Very good sentence. Okay, guys. Our time is over. Recuerda, si quieres más oportunidades, 
Para practicar en vivo, visita nuestra página de openenglish.com y dale clic al enlace en este video. Siempre tenemos promociones especiales y grandes oportunidades para aprender más. Espero les haya gustado la clase de hoy. Conmigo, Malia. Quédate en casa y los esperamos de nuevo a la de la tarde con Frank o los esperamos mañana a la una de la tarde en el horario estándar del este. ¡Te esperamos!